All right, so this video is for those of you who love to question reality a lot, like what does it all mean and ponder about the existence of everything and how reality functions. And not just that, but people who tend to overthink things like, should I go into this business? Am I really passionate about this thing that I'm doing? Or even like with health, you overcomplicate everything with your, with your health routine or even with your relationships, whatever it is, right? You're going into these philosophical rabbit holes constantly trying to find the right answer. And is it this or is it that? And I'm certainly one of them. I do this a lot. And this is why I'm recording this video because there's a deadly danger in doing that. And it's something that has wasted years of my life. I'm not kidding. And what I want to share in this video is very, very crucial and very, very important so that it doesn't happen the same thing to you. Hopefully you can get something out of this and, and not fall victim to the same thing that I did, right? So if we go back to when I originally started to do business online, which was like 2018, 2019, and this applies to you, even if you're not doing business, okay? It's just that it's a very easy way to encapsulate the concept that I'm trying to explain. What happened is that when things were going well and we would be making a lot of money, right? This was the first business that I ever had. And you know, you're waking up every single day doing thousands of dollars. Do you think that I was thinking about the existence of life and God and reality and, and what should I, and, and not even like these abstract concepts that go so deep, but even superficial things like, what should I be doing with my life? Do I really like this business model? Should I be doing something else? Um, do, am I providing enough value to society? All of these things. I was not thinking about that, not at all. But what I noticed, and, and this was after going through the cycle back and forth many times with my business partner, is that when things were not going well, me and my business partner would start to ponder and think about these things like, are we doing the right thing? Should be doing e-commerce, should be, we're drop shipping, what are we contributing to society? We're not creating anything. And, Right, but we would only be thinking about these things and, and then even, even deeper, you know, like what is the meaning of life and, and all of this stuff. But we would only think about these things when things were not going well, right? When, when these would end, right? And then we were not making any money or we were having some issue or whatever. Then we would go into this mode of overthinking, right? And overanalyzing everything. And this is something that we jumped back and forth a lot, right? But the thing is that you can go way too deep into it, right? And, and this is the danger of it. There, there's a point that you can get into analyzing and doing philosophy and everything that you can go into deep. And what that does is that you start to break the foundational beliefs and the foundational models of reality that you have, that at least they give you some direction to the goals that you want to attain. And if you break those, which is possible, right? Because here's the interesting things. One thing that I heard many years ago that I agree with a lot is that we're rational beings, right? We have these amazing brains. And as rational beings, the biggest ability that we have is to rationalize everything. You can actually make sense out of everything, even if it seems hard to believe. But if you try, you can somehow, I mean, you can convince people that communism is a way to go. You can convince people that capitalism is a way to go, that we are living on any existential theory that you might have, like, oh, it's karmic reincarnation. There is a God. There is no God. Like, the reason why people can believe different things is because, and they can be certain about those beliefs is because we're beings who know how to rationalize everything. Like, we can make logic out of everything. And that's the thing. Like, you can rationalize your way into depression into not doing the things that you know you should be doing. You can rationalize your way into questioning your business model way too much and I should not be doing this and maybe I should switch and instead of doing this, I should create a useful product that will save the world and all of that, which is amazing, right? But if you're at the early stages and what you wanna do now is money, these kind of thoughts, they're, they're not productive. They're not conducive to the current goals that you have, which at the beginning is financial freedom or, or it might be other things. You might be struggling with health and now you're overthinking about, oh, should I follow this regimen? Like maybe I should do some other kind of exercise, right? I don't actually like to go to the gym and be closed in a box. I want to go and I want to go hiking and I want to be in the mountains running and it's better, right? But then you do that thing and you don't like it. And then you might start to rationalize into the next thing, which here's the thing that I noticed, right? Because you, you have this endless pattern. This is what I noticed. Like we're going back and forth between these, but what I realized is that you know what it all is? It's just coping. And that's what it is. Like the reason why this happens is because you're uncomfortable. And, and this goes even deeper into the truth uh, behind all of this, which is when things are not going well, 
right? So when you get into this area and now you're not making as much money as you used to do, you're not happy with the situation. And instead of directly addressing it, because it's an uncomfortable feeling, one thing that people who tend to overanalyze, and I'm one of them, we fall victim to this, to, to, to overanalyzing. But, but if you think about it, the reason why I say it's coping is because in a way it gives you permission to fail, right? Because you start to justify it as, no, I'm not really motivated with this business because it's actually useless. There's no value doing dropshipping or e-commerce or whatever it is that you might be doing or, you know, going to the gym, lifting weights. I mean, it's a very mechanical way to develop the body and this is not how we actually evolve. So it doesn't make sense, right? Or actually you have to, you're going to die anyways, uh, right? So why should I bother taking care of my health or with relationships or whatever thing that you might want? But then you start to philosophize your ways, your way out of it. And that is the true danger. So that's why it is such a valid point what you hear from some people that you should not indulge into psychedelics, into going into these retreats where you meditate a lot and all these travel and all these existential analyses and rationalization and everything until you have achieved like at least the basic goals, you could call it, in life, or at least you've covered the basic needs that you might have as a human. I'm not saying that you have to become a millionaire or a billionaire or whatever, but at least the thing that you actually want, right? Because you can actually also lie yourself and be like, no, I actually don't want it because it's not valuable. But trust me, like these kind of thoughts fall into this area. Because if you would still be making this kind of money, you will be a, a, like really, really happy and you would not be having all of these dark thoughts, right? So that's the thing. It's a very valid point. If you don't have that va basic level of what I consider like the four pillars in life. This is something that, I mean, I know a lot of people hate him, you know, but I agree with him on this. Ty Lopez, right? He says health, wealth, love, and happiness. I do generally believe those are the four pillars in life. I think it's a very solid framework until you don't reach the f levels that you would like yourself, not what other people are saying, like the, the, the level that you would like to be with health, with money, with your relationships, and with your mental peace it can be dangerous to go into all these existential topics. So the point of this video is just to bring awareness to you about this because it's something that might be happening to you and, and you should truly analyze like all of these thoughts that I'm having, all of these things that I'm questioning, are you actually questioning them? Because you actually need to ponder and think and find out your answers or are they cope? And you're trying to escape from the uncomfortable truth that things are not working out from you and maybe now you're trying to justify your way out of it instead of just tackling the problem right on and taking action so just something to think about but yeah that's it for this video if you liked it click on this video right here i think you will also like it but for now that's it subscribe to the channel if you haven't leave me a like leave me a comment and hopefully i will see you on the next video take care peace